Hi, great people. How are you? And how have you been? Yes, uh, welcome back to our channel. My name is Dr. Ryan. So today, I've just come in to talk about very few things. You know, some insights that I was given by my friend Mike. He posted something in a group that we share, Facebook group that we share, and um, I thought I would talk to you about it. Uh, because it's about people who are coming to the UAE to look for work and uh, those uh, that we call tamakas. Just a few points he wanted to put across and I thought maybe even me, I can um, help, you know, spread this good news. I mean, like uh, this information because it will benefit someone out there. So for me, I would like to split them into two. What you do at home before you come and uh, what you do once you're here. So basically, what do you do at home? First thing is getting your budgets clear. Like, you have to plan for a three months, at least, at, I mean, it's good, three months visit visa, which is 90 days plus a 10 day uh, grace period. Um, you have to plan for your accommodation once you get to the UAE. You have to plan for your movements uh, costs for movements uh, going from point A to B. You have to plan also for your feeding, for your food and, and, and such. So, budget, get it clear. Book your visa early in advance. Like, uh, book your visa in good time. Mike talked about, uh, he talked about uh, timing. I would still insist that, I mean, like, I've been here for some time now and, uh, September, October, good months. But November, December, because of the holidays, not so good. Again, January, February, March, good. April, uh, because of Ramadan, not good. Then after that, things are slow. So if you really want to get a job and get it faster, those months, January, Feb, March, and October and September, please try to come within uh, those uh, months that I just mentioned. The other thing is, um, just before you come from home, consult widely on uh, the, the formats that we uh, people use here for their CVs. Make good CVs. Get a friend who is in the UAE, like a contact. Let them give you a phone number, their phone number, or even buy you an extra line and just give you the number. Put it in the CV. Put your legit email in the CV also and um, print your CVs at least get a few like 5 10 CVs and envelopes just to avoid cost when you come here in the UAE because um, again it will be so so bad that you leave a place where you can print a CV at uh, 10 shillings Kenyan shillings and come and print it here at 100 or even more uh, money so get that after your CV go again according to the profession that or the job that you want to come and look for create a very good eye-catching impressive account in LinkedIn create a good profile other people will tell you about indeed you can try Dubizol you can try Nokri Gulf you can you can try also and all the other I mean monster all the other uh, job searching platforms but LinkedIn usually has this cocktail of people you know recruiters uh, fellow colleagues uh, managers hiring employer everyone is there and uh, it's a very good and you get response you can get response from someone they can text you they can uh, go to your inbox and uh, talk to you so it's a platform that people have used to the advantage especially those who are looking for work and what I would advise you if you are going to create your LinkedIn I mean to make your LinkedIn profile just connect with as many people as possible and if someone is not connecting back follow that person don't be afraid to follow because what you want here is to, to see when this person posts like when you follow me you want to see what I post so if I happen to post a job of course I leave my email there I leave my contact there so it's upon you now to contact me. So don't be afraid that, oh, I followed so-and-so and they, I mean, I connected with so-and-so and they didn't connect back. Follow that person. Even if they don't follow back, you can see. It's for you, not for them. 
because them they are hiring you you want the job so you are the one in need so create a good linkedin profile make sure it hits those 500 connections as soon as you can so that everyone will just be seeing 500 plus connections 500 plus connections and uh, you'll be good to go this one do it while at home because you have all the time even now you can do it even if you are planning to come next year you can have a good impressive uh, linkedin you will just be changing location like if you are in kenya now you are in uganda now you are in south africa you just be changing your location from where you are uh, to when you land to the uae you put in the uae the other thing again according to the job that you want to come and look for If you are a professional, if you have the papers, degree, certificate, diploma, make sure you get these documents attested. You get a photocopy, a colored copy of your document. Take it to your school, take it to the Ministry of Education, take it to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, take it to the embassy. There are costs involved, just uh, some some money especially at the embassy. Make sure before you land in the UAE your documents are attested to avoid again sending your documents in parcel to Kenya uh, calling your your relatives to tell them to follow up for you get them attested the other thing and this I'm addressing to the to people especially i think from uh, i don't know whether other countries are usually ask for this but from Kenya mostly they are also asking for certificate of i mean good conduct certificate which is also called a uh, police clearance certificate It comes from the directorate of criminal investigations for them to do your visa here some companies and also to just give you the job they need to 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 see your certificate of uh, police clearance I mean police clearance certificate so make sure so you get your police uh, clearance certificate and get it attested uh, in your country just before you come because again if you don't come with it you'll have to go to the terminals here to get your fingerprints you go to the embassy you get I don't know what and then you have to send them to Kenya and now wait for your good conduct uh, to come out. So just get those ones sorted out. Again Mike talked about if you are coming it's good to just pack your the things that you normally use at home, the basic things like beddings, like uh, you know personal effects to avoid unnecessary cost once you land in the UAE because there's no need you have a good uh, good uh, beddings and uh, good clothes and then you leave them there you say I'll go and buy others in uh, in uh, Dubai or in Abu Dhabi or in the UAE uh, basically so just pack your things the ones that you can even food stuff I mean like you can uh, consult with your friends which food stuffs can I carry what can I carry and uh, they will tell you and you'll be having a allow- I mean a weight allowance for your ticket so just confirm if it's 80 kilograms Just carry things that I mean like even if it's the 80 kilograms don't be afraid don't be don't say that I mean I'm new I'm not supposed to carry many things you know I'll be confused just carry them okay so once you come here in the UAE now you have left your country again Mike talked about you know your accommodation first of all you have to look for consult and look for accommodation that is not so expensive Again look for accommodation around where people that you want to work in the same industry with are staying so that you can have an idea of what is expected of you and uh, how even you go about applying for work. The other thing would be having personal contacts in the UAE. Like just even a single person is very important. Because they will be asking about uh, Abuj Khalifa, tomorrow will be asking about something else and uh, this person if they are not mean they'll be able to guide you because no one has gone to a foreign place and uh, made it all by their, themselves I mean like just hitting the bush or like just hitting the road running the first day so have a very good personal contact have friends make friends and uh, the accommodation make it with people that you can share notes with that you can discuss things with I mean just to avoid getting carried away and uh, you know getting uh, confused so the other thing would be once you get here just from when you are coming from home make sure you have at least 3 to 5 uh, like pre-planned meetings 
like you are coming and you hit the road running like you have a an employer you are meeting like in 3 days after you come in one week after you come that will be very good for you for a start then uh, again you also have to know that when you come you don't have a chance to I mean like a lot of time to keep to relax so it's now creating a very robust a very impressive online uh, profile and now starting to share that profile online with people who and an online CV also with people who are hiring and uh, people who are recruiting so don't forget that and don't shy off I mean like despite even if you don't have I mean like so high qual- qualifications don't take yourself so down especially in the online applications you never know you never know and don't say that I'm, I'm fresher that I'm a beginner just try your luck the other thing I mean like just before you come from home uh if you are a professional unless your profession needs you to have an experience in your country like medicine like law like engineering it's advised you know like to come when you're just fresh you will be having a unique experience yes without anything to compare with but it's 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 very good because uh, many people many employers are now starting to have more confidence and trust in people who are just starting because those people will not be fighting in the office they not be saying how much of experience they have and you'll be able to grow your career from a low been from a a point of no comparison with another company that you worked for so the other thing uh, i would like to emphasize on is um is uh, mean your movement in terms of uh, interviews just go for those interviews from day one if you hear walking uh, i mean uh, there's a walking somewhere you apply for interview they call you just go go for all the interviews and make sure you dress accordingly you know you don't go there drunk don't go there you know like you don't care go there and make an impression that you need that job and you are the right candidate for that job so if you are planning to come to the UAE to Tarmac those are just a few points but then uh, everything needs consultation everything needs you to search online everything needs you to get in touch with a person that you know they are here mike has been here for more than a decade i think i'll tag him in my email so if you need an advice i think he'll be in a better position to answer you i'll also be able to answer you in a few things here and there so basically don't feel like you don't you know like it's so much work uh, moving from wherever you are to come here it's just that you have to put your things in order first so that you don't come the three months are finished and then you have to go back home or you have to renew your visa so yes basically that is what i wanted to pass across in case you have any questions you have comments you have uh, reactions please put down put them down in the comment section and i'm so happy that this is going to help someone that is going to be shared widely please uh, if you have not subscribed to our channel subscribe so that uh, you can be seeing our content once we come online and once we post anything new and make sure you share whatever whatever you talk about with your friends and uh, let them also subscribe to our channel thank you so much have a nice one